Happy Tiger? That's right. Can we see it? Can you read? Touch it. What's the story in this thing? Whatever you've heard, probably. You expect us to think that that thing's real? Don't really care. How'd you kill it? With a big homemade harpoon. What's up, guys? You guessed it, it's Jimmy. And today, I'd like to address some real near and dear to these eight little bitty pony hearts. That's right, the FFD. Of course, we don't need to address the nine teraflops, the 12 teraflops. We understand that the Xbox Series X doesn't need any type of support with the power narrative. Although, the tech geeks love hitting me with, you can't compare teraflops, you have to consider all components of the GPU. Are, are, you, are, you, are you done? Well, I would love to, but we don't have a teardown of a PS5. Anyway, as we're aware, a few weeks back, Mr. 16 Teraflops had a PS5 dev show up to discuss the capabilities of the Xbox Series X's SSD. Say that three times fast. And to no logical person's surprise, he revealed that there was no advantage, none. Billboarding, images being placed before transition, we seen that. I wonder where. Oh, that's right, Ratchet and Clank, your beloved. <laughs> I mean, look, it's an interactive cussing. Meanwhile, we have a game doing something way more impressive. The medium, the spiritually enlightened one, bound between dimensions, between worlds between levels, literally. The term doesn't even do it justice, and I can't even say it. Simultaneous, 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 I'm kind of retarded. And yeah, I'm not a fan of it not being exclusive, but it also kind of explains how I could, you know, be 30 FPS, having to consider the weaker console. Yeah, pretty much confirms that the Xbox Series X is more capable than billboards. Where do y'all get off of bragging about what the Xbox Series X can't do anyway? Um, do you guys realize we have things that you don't too? I don't mean to bring this back up, but the whole world. I mean, what does your SSD have that would even make that possible? Nothing. YouTubers like D-Batch have already explained the logistics of the SSD, the IO throughput, and my personal favorite, the 100 gigabytes stored on the SSD instantly. Yep, um, something else Sony still hasn't confirmed. We're all just sitting here waiting for Mr. Market Share to show us those stats. It gets better. The UE5 demo only needs a fraction of the Xbox Series X's I.O. As described here by Galvin Stevens. He recently gave a great in-depth analysis of Hellblade 2 via real time. Link in description. I didn't read the whole thing before I commented. He wasn't too happy with that. Regardless, the Xbox Series X can't do this narrative, it's trash. The whole bottleneck narrative is trash. Here we have Jason Ronald, aka Beard Guy, telling you guys there are no bottlenecks. So I want to get back to the uh, custom um, NVMe SSD because we've heard a lot of folks talk about SSD as one of the buzzwords kind of this generation around. And I want to be clear is that it's not like we just took a, a hard drive and I happen to have one here. Not this is a, this is for my PC, uh, but it's not like we just took a hard drive and, and plopped it in there and we walked away. There's a lot of magic and a lot of engineering that has gone into getting this sustained uh, read write speed. Is that and the, and the throughput is that accurate? 
Absolutely. So, you know, when we designed this, as we thought about the entire end to end system, we really designed this to make sure that there's no bottlenecks in the system from the CPU to the GPU to the memory to the Xbox Velocity architecture. And one of the things that we heard from developers is they need a guaranteed performance target to make sure that it's as easy as possible for them to optimize their title and really get the best performance out of the system. So as we designed the Xbox Velocity architecture and the NVMe SSD, we've really optimized for that sustained throughput so that developers always know that they're guaranteed to get this minimum level of performance. And like the SSD that you showed, you know, a lot of SSDs that maybe come in a PC as an example, they'll slow down as they get uh, hotter or the drive itself may put itself in a maintenance mode. And we don't want those things to happen while the game's actually playing because those would lead to like stutters and uh, clips and things like that. So when you're running your game on the Xbox Velocity architecture, you're always getting that guaranteed performance and developers can really optimize their games to take advantage of it. Well, there you go. Head development chief himself. Aww. Pony, did MB Bitch got you up? Did J Snub lead you astray? Yeah, I think that wraps everything I had to say up. Um, thank you guys for the very, 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 very positive feedback from the first episode. It's inspired me to do more. Of course, like and subscribe, hit that notification, tell your bro, tell a friend, be patient. I'm a one bad man, just know I'm bringing that fire. This is Jimmy, logging out. Peace.